Temperature gauge rising, you might be thinking of beating the heat in typical Boise fashion by floating the river. But that would be a bad and very dangerous decision. Jake Milder joins us live alongside the river with this safety warning. Y'all, it is hot, and you may look at the river and say this is a great way to escape the heat. That would be a very bad idea. Not only is it raging, not only can I tell you it is freezing cold, but there are also dangers lying underneath the water. Higher than normal temperatures may fool some to think it's like July, a perfect time to cool off with the float on the river. But it's early June, and the river is still raging. That's twice what they normally open it up at. Ada County spokeswoman Kate McGuire isn't mincing words when it comes to interactions with the river right now. Don't jump into the river if you want to escape the heat. The river flows as of today, it's still at 2900 CFS. So it's raging. It's very dangerous conditions in the river right now. The fast flows may carry you off, but it's the snags under the water that are the greatest threat. And the firefighters that take care of them have not yet cleaned things up. The water is still too high to even determine what the dangers are within the river, where the fallen trees are underneath the water and things like that. If the safety concerns don't convince you, maybe the financial one will. If you jump in the river right now, you're on the hook for any rescue you'll need. Now, the county says at the earliest it's going to be two weeks before they're going to be able to open up the river. They're still letting a lot of the flood waters through. They do say, though, that they hope to be able to open up by the 4th of July weekend. Reporting by the Boise River, I'm Jake Melder, 6 on your side.